Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, so as the video said, my name is Norris Frederick. I am a training Olympian. Um, So I guess I first want to say, you never really realize how far you've come until you take a second and just look at all, look at all the things that you've done. Um, when I first did this video, it wasn't about showing how athletic I am or showing what it is that I do for a living. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, like we all have a special talent. It's just about going out there and finding it. Um, I just wanted to get on a, a platform and tell my story and tell people what it is that I had to go through. And in the process of that, it brought me here today. One thing that is always in the back of my mind is these videos that I put out, it's about coming together and, and sharing my story in hopes that other people in my situation can understand that there is light at the end of that tunnel. I had the opportunity to go to the, one of the houses today and play basketball with a few of the kids and talk to some of the, the football guys and you know we're all one big group trying to do the same thing and it's to survive. It's nothing more than just to survive. And even looking at some of these faces right now gets me a little emotional because I was once where they were. A lot of people look at professional athletes and they're like, you've forgotten where you've come from. You, 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 don't, you don't go back to your roots but I know exactly where I've come from. I remember me and my two older brothers living in the back of my mom's Volkswagen and me having to go to school and steal food from the cafeteria so we can just have something to eat at home. Or waking up on a Thursday morning to somebody knocking on the window, my mom rolling the window down and it was somebody in my third grade giving us some, some produce or whatever the situation may have been. And if you've never been humbled in a situation, like that was enough to physically want to break me down. So I took a second and I told myself that there's more to life than living in a parking lot at a convenience store. There has to be something else. I don't know what these kids are going, what they're going through right now. I don't know what you guys out there are going through right now. But understand this, it took a lady to give my mom $10 to completely derail my life from the path that it was going down. And with that $10, my mom took me to the nearest Rite Aid and she bought me a book. It wasn't an extremely cool book or anything like that, it was just the simple fact that my mom bought me a book. She sacrificed food for that one night to buy her youngest kid a book. And I still have that book to this day. It took $10 for somebody to change my entire life. I have been told that I wasn't good enough to do so many things in my life. And then I told myself that I was able to do so many things in my life. And then I did. I graduated from the University of Washington. I'm an 11 time NCAA All American. I'm the most decorated athlete in my state history. I can jump the length of a, a full-size fire engine. I can jump over Shaquille O'Neal with a few inches to spare. <laughs> but all of that means nothing if I don't utilize that platform to do something like I'm doing right now. And I feel like that's the most important thing. Like I said, I don't know any of these kids, and in my experience, the toughest thing for me was to deal with people that didn't look like me, that didn't talk like me, that didn't dress like me, to try to give me a message on what it's like to survive. And then all of a sudden, Child Haven comes into the picture, where people cared for me, they treated me different. I would go to these places and I'd be so upset and so angry and so hostile, I would act out. And what these people did is they treated me to my potential. They didn't treat me to that moment where I was just being a, a complete jerk. 
they looked through that and saw that there was a kid that needed help and that was struggling. And they sat me down and we, we talked through things. And I was able to open up, I didn't feel threatened. And when I opened up to them, things in my life started to change. I saw things for what they were. When people were offering help, I, I wasn't looking at it like I was a charity case. I was looking at it as they're seeing the potential in me. I am a true believer that we don't need to wait for our youth to hit rock bottom before we start to make a change. If it only took $10 to change my life from living in a Volkswagen to training for the 2000 or 2016 Olympic Games, what do you think will happen if we donated just a few bucks for these kids to see what could happen? I don't come from a lot of means. As we said in the video, I grew up poor. But it was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It taught me things about myself that I've never had to see ever again. I refuse to be hungry. I refuse to have somebody that does not know me tell me everything there is to know about me. They don't get to make that decision. I do. When I'm training for these 2016 Olympic Games, surprisingly, this is the easy part of my life. I have survived the toughest places that I could possibly be as a kid up until right now. And all you want me to do is train for the 2016 Olympic Games? Sweat off my back, let's just go on and get that done. I feel that we need to help the youth develop into young men and women so we can feel safe sending them out there in the world after college, knowing that they'll make great and grown-up decisions. Instead of reading about it in the newspaper or looking at it on the news, being like, oh, somebody should have helped that guy. We have an opportunity right now to do so. So there should be some envelopes on your tables. You can go all the way up from $10 to $500. You can go $5 to a billion dollars, whatever. However big the donation is, or however small the donation is, understand it really does make a difference. I was changed with just $10. My life changed for $10. I spent $10 in the airport this morning on a bottled water. <laughs> Please, when you guys are being asked to donate, think about the people on this stage. We are literally looking at our future right now. How can we say no to a face like this? Thank you. Thank you, Norris. Appreciate it. Yeah.